Hi, I'm here at the ID Tech X show in Berlin. I'm at the booth of IMEC. I've known IMEC for oh, at least uh, 15 years. And I've got to say, I think they're a phenomenal organization. They work on some really innovative technologies. And they're going to tell us a bit more about it. Let's start off with you, Prashant. Um, nice to meet you, Firstly, Thanks for Hi. coming. Good morning. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, so here we, uh, we are actually presenting our work on organic TFT. Ah. So these, these are uh, TFT technology that we have developed in collaboration with Fujifilm. So Mr. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Mr. Gotosan is from Fujifilm and they have actually uh, developed a new semiconductor material. And at iMac we have developed the whole process stack using those uh, semiconductor material. And we have developed the organic TFT. And here we are kind of demonstrating a seven segment uh, display where all the circuits are actually in organic TFT developed with the Fujifilm material. What have been the benefits of this material versus other previous generations from others? So, yes. this is a new, new semi organic semiconductor material. It's really air-stable, and also the, the budget for the processing, uh, the temperature budget, thermal budget for the processing is really high, and also it's stable after photolithography technology. So, I know there are many demonstrators which are produced by printing or such kind of things, but we take photolitho because it's more compatible with current industry systems, so the size of the transistor is the length of the transistor is just five micro. It's ten times smaller than the other printed TFTs, so we can get much better performance in terms of TFTs. So this is the collaboration and of the, uh, between iMac and Fujifilm. And the other innovation that we have done here is uh, on the topology of the TFT itself. So, uh, so this is an organic TFT where the contacts are at the top. And we have also now, it's a work in progress, where we have replaced gold contacts with copper contacts. So, and the purpose of doing that is to make production of these TFTs uh, compatible with flat panel display fabs. Because they like top contact and they don't like gold. So, so uh, most of the legacy uh, organic TFTs, yeah. they are bottom contact and they use uh, gold in their stack. How reliable is copper been? I mean, copper oxidizes and that's been issues for us. That is true. So, so those are the challenges today. Yeah. We are working on them. Yeah. So, uh, indeed, uh, there are stability issues with copper. Yeah. But uh, given that uh, it is cheaper than gold, and uh, it is more compatible with uh, fabs. Right. So we are currently working on it. We have explored other uh, materials also, right. but it's a work in progress to make copper more stable. Right. And Goto-san, you talked about stability of the materials. Yes. Um, what level of protection do they need? Do they need a very high barrier uh, property, for example? And, what's, and what sort of lifetime testing have you done if you've done that so far? Well, uh, actually, we store our samples without any protections. Just leave it like half a year on my desk. I'm lazy to store, to put it back to glow box or somewhere. <laughs> but still, the mobility doesn't change at all. So at least for the, the, the material wise, it's quite stable. Uh, now, now, of course, in case of all TFTs, the, we need to think about the size of the transistors when we talk about mobility. Yeah. So we achieve mobility more than one with the five micro channel length. So there are some, I know, we know there are some reports which shows mobility 10 or something, but the channel length is 100 or 200. But we got such a, such a mobility with very small channel length. We believe this is one of the core the top value in this field. And have you created all the materials, so the organic semiconductor, the dielectric and the others, or is it mainly the organic semiconductor that you're focused on? So, our, our main goal is to make the process which is very compatible with the current industry system. So if we just replace one material, like from amorphous silicon to OTFT, it's not so difficult, okay. but if we want, we need to replace all of them. It's not so preferable for the industry. Okay. So in our case, every other material in the process is basically compatible with current industry. 
Yes. So you've got Dagmar Rao, what, what about um, scaling this up? Um, you know, it's one thing producing one, another thing producing many in, that in volume. <laughs> um, what, what sort of work have you done on that? So what we have uh, so far done is that we started with very small substrates. Uh, the first demonstrator was actually on a 3 by 3 centimeter. Now within IMEG we have scaled it to 6 inch uh, substrate. So, and we have got good performance on 6 inch uh, substrate. So that is the scaling we have done so far. And the step after that is still uh, a work to be done. Great. Well, Dr. Agarwal and Goethe San, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, can, can you go inside? Yeah. So, so this is a very high resolution uh, OLED display. He can close the mic, yeah? Okay. Okay. Sorry. You can add yeah. this to the end of this. So, so this is a European project called High Response. Right. And uh, the uh, objective of this project was to uh, manufacture a very high resolution OLED display. So this is done in collaboration with Fraunhofer, TNO and and I make sure there are three parties. And this project actually got an award, which will be presented this evening. Okay. Is it a full HD? Uh, no, it's not a full HD. Uh, what is the resolution? It's, uh, it's about 160 by 160 today. And the uh, size? And it's a printed OLED uh, that has been used. Okay. Uh, and what's the size? So this is 160 by 160 pixels. And I think the pixel size is 10 micron. This is like less than one inch or diagonal, right? Oh, yes. it's small. Much smaller than that, yes. So actually I can remove this box oh, there. for you to see it well. So currently we have a sort of a video uh, that is yes. looping on it with yeah. logos of iMac, Fraunhofer and Bolt Center yeah. and TNO. Yeah, so printing displays is, is one of the areas of focus that you're looking at? Um, so uh, the printing uh, expertise comes from Fraunhofer. Right. We developed the backplane. I see. And, and the demonstrator. And what, what is the backplane technology? So it's a Noxac uh, TFT. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Nice talking to you. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.